In this overview, we'll show you the highlights of the library, the Artifact Repository. Use the library to organize and manage your content. The library's navigation pane contains a list of folders, and the content pane contains the artifacts in the folders. Use the Actions menu at the top of the navigation pane to take action on the folders in the navigation pane. Use the Actions menu at the top of the Content area to act on the artifacts in the Content area. Click the Create icon in the Navigation pane to create a folder to store artifacts. Click the Create icon in the Content area to add artifacts. The library includes several system-generated folders and several system-generated personal folders. Use the Recent Folder, Favorites, and My Library folders to easily find artifacts. It's easy to add a frequently used artifact to the Favorites folder so you can quickly access it. Create your own folders to help you stay organized. Let's add an artifact to the folder we just created. Now we can edit the properties for the new artifact. You can change the file name or description. And if you're an administrator, you can give access to another user. By default, access to an artifact is inherited from the parent, but an administrator can turn off this option. And you can see the artifact's history. You can change the sort order of the content pane to make it easier to find artifacts. And you can set a default view for all folders. You can search within a folder or within the entire library. You can delete, rename, copy, and move files and refresh the library view. The library also includes shortcuts to all the report packages you have access to so you can easily open them from one location, no matter where they are stored in the library. In this overview, we saw how you can use the library. To learn more, visit the link shown here.